Uh, let's watch one more from him. He said Metabots was actually amazing. Let's, so Metabots was one of them. I think Metabots was like. He was also a Yu Gi Oh player too. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yu Gi Oh, Yu Gi Oh. But like, um, I remember Metabots. I, I what's weird about Metabots? I have a very uh. A belating legend. Like a lukewarm feeling towards it. Like it's like I don't remember how it ended. I remember seeing it. Like a few episodes, but I don't remember it's time to duel. the story, the stories, or anything like that. It's time to duel. So let's see what uh, Metabots was actually amazing by Digi Know again, and see what he says. Era. I mean, let's face it. Video games and movie franchises. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like the new Shaman King. I I don't know how I feel about it. It like I didn't like the the voice actor for 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 Yo for the newish r reboot. Just sound too childlike. I was so used to the old one from the four kids version or like the Fox Kids version. Eh. This are the key Metabits collector. Metabits. Rebooters, but even anime it's has right. been pulling from the past to capitalize on our love of all things 90s and early 2000s. 2020's Digimon reboot, 2021's Shaman King reboot, Card Captor, Sailor Moon, not to mention the sequel series like Boruto and Yashahime, the sequel to Inuyasha, and Shaman King Flowers, which is now in production. But there's one series that, in my mind, fits within that same group of Dawn of the Millennium creature shows like Digimon, Shaman King, Card Captors, that hasn't yet got the reboot or sequel treatment, and that's Metabots. As Billiam so elegantly put, it, Metabots was weird. It was a unique spin on the monster tamer slash pet collecting genre that was taking over the world at the time with Pokemon and Monster Rancher and Bots. Digimon, but not every one of Bots. those monster tamer shows was literally dealing with mons like Pokey and Digi series. Cardcaptor Sakura and Shaman King, for example, definitely fit into the genre being two series with kids battling and forging connections with spirits, complete with transformations, power-ups, the power of friendship, and everything about circa 2000. Metabots was like those. It was another one of those fun spins on the monster tamer pet collecting genre, with the kids in this world obsessing over AI-powered robots and the sport of row battling, the kids in the show would mod their metabots to give them special stats and weapons. Metabots fulfilled. Oh man, now the idea of AI is even like more rampant now than ever. Now that you know how cool, you know how cool this it show. Only. This is probably the best time to start a metabots reboot, given that the AI thing is like such a hot thing now. So like if you want to like if they want to make some money, I would just make I just reboot like something like Metabots real fast and see where it goes and then just put some AI like jargon in there. People might run behind it because it's like it's it's fucking, you know, it's it's AI. It's like if people are gonna run with it, I think, most likely than so. I, I would be Sounds surprised like if they didn't. Big Hero 6 thing. No, no, not even close. It's like it's like Pokemon but with robots. That fantasy about But the difference is you're not you're not you're not it's like Beyblade, Pokemon, like, okay, so Metabots is basically Beyblade and Pokemon. So everyone has their own robot, or no, let's not, let's not even use that. Let's not use Pokemon, or let's not use Beyblade. No, Bill, let's use Beyblade. Bots fighting thing. Yeah, it's like bots fighting each other. It's literally like Gundam, like Gunpla versus having a kind of otherworldly friend, really that timeless imaginary friend concept, while still being based in a world that we could actually see existing. These weren't fantasy beasts or ghosts, this was a believable near future setting where the toy robots kids played with became so advanced that they've integrated into everyday life. So like 20 that, real world like years later, yeah. AI and robotics play an even larger role in our daily lives than they did in 2000, and so Metabots is a show much like Digimon that I think works better and better the more time passes and the more technology takes over our daily lives. Like, think about the popularity of esports in our current time period. Row battling kind of predicted the phenomenon of esports tournaments. Teens and young adults who have dedicated themselves to honing their craft, creating the greatest builds possible and most efficient strategies, taking to the stage to figure out who is number one. Imagine Iki and Metabi training and doing recreational matches at local tournaments before taking on the big leagues and competing in an international row battle esports tournament. In 2020, Digimon Adventure got the full reboot treatment, and in 2021, Shaman King had the same thing happen with a full on reboot that took direct influence from the now complete manga series. Both of these reboots seem to have done relatively well, well enough that both of them were able to green light follow up series. Digimon ended Adventure 2020 and launched straight into a brand new original series, Digimon Ghost Game, that is still airing and so far is great, and Shaman King recently announced that it will be adapting Shaman King Flowers, a manga series that follows Yo and Anna's child Hana and sees the cast- I remember, um, I remember someone mentioning this to me, they said, uh, 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 Digimon Ghosts? It's pretty dark. Like, it's the darkest version... Like, it's the darkest Digimon series compared to all the Digimon shows. 
for some odd reason, they said it's pretty dark. It jumps into some very serious topics. I don't know how true that is, but uh, I don't know. I probably might watch it one day because it sounds interesting. Because I don't, I, I, it's not that I don't like Digimon. It just never really hold on as long as it did as Pokemon did. But like, I can see the appeal. So I, I can probably rewatch it again, but I don't know. We'll see. Of the original show, All Grown Up. So whether Metabots wanted to do the full-on reboot like Digimon and Shaman King, or go the sequel route, you know, have a successor series like Yashahime, Metabots feels so right for our current time period. And keep in mind, Metabots never really went away. There were a ton of games that released in Japan after the anime ended, and as recently as last year, Metabots and Digimon were collabing on multiple occasions. Where to? Home. God, I hate this fucking commercial. First with this April Fool's joke that made an Omnimon variant based on Meta B and Rokusho well, using. Cool. They called it Ometamon and it was honestly way too cool to just be an April Fool's joke. Later they added a Metabots DIM card for the Vital Bracelet series. Picture a Fitbit but you raise and evolve Digimon through exercise. Yeah, they made a Metabots version of that where you could raise your own Metabot. This is just me fan dreaming but how cool would it be if Digimon and Metabots stopped kind of flirting and made their relationship official? You know, make Metabots an official part of the Digimon universe or something like how in the last few years Digimon had a spin-off called Digimon Universe Atmon. You know, what if we got Digimon Universe Metabots? Could be one way to bring back the series. Uh, part of the reason I'm so eager for Metabots... No, I'd rather them separate. I'd rather them separate. I'd rather them separate. That, I like the idea that it's mechanical and it can be conventional compared to something that could be just because of the power of friendship. That shit is fucking annoying. Bots to come back and to come back officially is because I fear that if they don't do it themselves, someone else will and may kind of ruin the whole thing. Well, what do I mean by that? Last year, there was this super strange story where the Metabots trademark expired in Europe and somebody who had no prior attachment to the IP claimed it in hopes of releasing their own video game and even NFT project using the Metabots name. There was a whole dispute and it's very messy and very ugly, but now the concern is not just that Metabots as the brand and the name will fade into obscurity, but that somebody else could actually take it and kind of muddy up the whole thing, which is all the more reason for Imagineer to stand up and say, hey, we made Metabots and we're making it again. I think about the anime series that were on TV in the early 2000s that have yet to be rebooted, as well as what would and wouldn't fit in this day and age, and there's no show I'd rather see rebooted or revisited than Metabots. I would hope the ongoing support the series has gotten in Japan in terms of games and toys, plus the international interest in the Digimon and Shaman King reboot projects would give Imagineers some confidence that there is at least some interest in seeing this series brought back. I know I've kind of been rambling, but hey, it's not just me who wants Metabots back. I have a friend who's a big fan of Metabots, and in particular, of Meta B. Uh, my name is uh, Joseph Botiki, but you can feel free to call me Joe. I used to host a show here uh, in the province of Ontario called <laughs> TVO Kids Crawl Space, where we aired like Arthur and Magic School Bus and Art Attack and Bill Nye the Science Guy. Uh, a lot of other people know me from uh, some of the animated shows that I've been lucky enough to voice over the years, uh, including Rescue Heroes, which a lot of people like. Uh, uh, let's face it. <laughs> Why is he guys going to Metabots, guys. So if you were uh, somebody who grew up with uh, with Icky and, uh, and and watching him row battle and he got his cheap laughing, little uh, uh, beetle-type uh, Metabot. Laughing, Bro, how old is this video? <laughs> like, how old is your video? You look like you're coming from the 90s. It's like you're, tra it's like you're transmitting a, like, a video from the 90s. Why the fuck does your shit look so old? The hell? That was uh, Meta B. Like I get the aesthetic. You have all these old shit behind you, but why does it look like you're literally? I'm from a gated community. I believe you don't. <laughs> that is me, Iggy. <laughs> why you say that? Come on, we got a road battle, Iggy. Let's go. <laughs> that is the. Right, see, now, really? the, now the people know. That's it, now you know. Oh, okay. You know, I was hosting a charity gaming stream, and I had the honor of having Joe Motiki, the English voice actor for Metabee, join me and my crew on stream. There, we got to ask him all kinds of questions about his experience voicing Metabee, the lasting legacy he was of the show, and the interest in a reboot or a sequel for Metabee. Well, uh, well, well I, okay, now I remember. Okay, I remember that Metabee had like some of a urban accent. He, he talked like he was like literally a black guy, but I couldn't tell. Because, like, I know he was supposed to be like, kind of like a delinquent in the sense the way he talked, but I wasn't too sure if he was, like, actually black or he was just a voice, like, voiced by a guy who sounded black or was a someone who had just a, like, someone of a, a urban accent. Um, I wasn't too sure. But, like, now, seeing it now, I'm like, okay, now it makes sense. Pokemon, when they had the Pokemon Go. Yeah. 
And I remember. <laughs> Metabots go. Well, well, you know, it just seemed to make like so much sense, like to go like uh, go row battling, to go like find Metabots. Oh, to, yeah. Yeah. Look, I always thought it'd be fun to, especially when um, Transformers. Uh, when they made the Transformers movies, and I'm not saying Metabots is on the level of Transformers, but just that the, you could make a, a Metabots, like a live action Metabots, pretty cheap. Like yeah. it wouldn't yeah. cost much. Like yeah, I mean, yeah. when they, they made a really, they really cheap they, Knight Rider reboot. A they can, years they, ago. they actually really like can. A, He's not full of shit. They can really, they can really make a Metabot, and you can actually sell that. Like kids, that you don't, like shit. You can actually make that a thing. Like think about it. You already have Transformers, like several of them. And then they're usually skyscraping like big ass fucking robots anyway. So like if you just have a smaller looking robot, right? You can make a movie out of that. You can sell that shit to kids easy. Sure, you can make a Netflix show out of that. Like, like I don't see why not. I would reboot the show as a live action. That would be fucking awesome, right? Don't make it can't make it cringe, but like damn. TV budget, right? And it was like you know, so you could have made like a little Metabots and have like. Rakusho and Similadon and Metabee and they're hanging out and doing their things. You could do that on the cheap. So I mean, it's I'm surprised that somebody and with the the, the the following that it does have. I mean, you could do that for the cheap and make a profit. Where do you think Metabee would be now, and what might he be doing? You know what, Metabee, like look, he would need TV new parts. So he would have had less. to have got some uh, new meta parts. Um, uh, Maybe. In terms of what he'd be doing. I think he would be like the 40-year-old football player who thinks they have one more season in them, but they don't. All right? Meta B would still be kicking, Iggy, come on. You know I can still row battle. Just let me take on the 2017 World Row Battle Champion. I can do it. And Iggy, who'd now be like 30, would be like, look, you've given me all you got, but you don't have it anymore. You are you look pretty busted. You're pretty beat. <laughs> you can't do it. And Meta B would be at the... <laughs> would be at those conventions going, come on! Why does anybody want to come and get my autograph? I still got it! Like, oh, I still got so it! Sad. And everybody wants to go... Full circle. I know, and then, I know, he's a... What, you're a KBT type? Get out of here! Oh. I went to new <laughs> Sujitsu XJ2000 and like... So that, no, he'd have enough pride not to go, but... <laughs> <laughs> he have a, a good creed moment, like where he's training. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. Oh, like that, Rakusho's yes, son. Yes, uh, 100%. Yeah. That's exactly right. Beautiful. I know, Rakusho would be unk, and he'd help him out one more time. <laughs> and then, which is great. Creed is dope. I, can, so, I can see this happening. <laughs> I can see this shit happening. Okay, you, you kind of sold me on that. <laughs> he sold me on it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Battle left in him, and he's gonna try to make it his best. But he'd be creaky because he was old to begin with. With the reign of reboots and sequels, I'm hoping that Metabots is the next series from. I can see that happening. Revisited. It's never been a better time, and our technological culture is even more similar to the world of Metabots than it was when the show first aired 20 years ago. I think the world is ready for more Metabots. If like if any if any sh if any company wants to lean into the whole AI craze shit, this is probably it. This is probably it. You can use AI jargon and shit, and people might run with it because you know AI now is more of a thing than it ever was. Um, okay, we got I got one more video in me, and then we can call it a night. Okay. I'll save these for tomorrow. I'll get rid of this. Oh wait, wait, wait! Just before, wait, 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 wait. I sorry, sorry. Okay. We are so with that said, thank you, Digi Know, for this video. This was amazing. Bring up some nostalgia with the Metabots and the Beyblade stuff. So I do appreciate it. So I like to give you some praise on that. Subscribe to him. Give a like to his video and all that great stuff. That was amazing. I'll put his stuff in the in the in the you know descriptions whenever i get the chance and i always put them always in the description so if you're looking for whoever i'm watching or if you find their shit in like fun or anything like that it'll be in the descriptions i promise you i'll link their shit um their youtube and everything into there and the video that we got this from so you can go watch it yourself or react to it it's fine that's perfectly fine you know that great stuff